Hey everyone, it's Ever here. Okay, so I've just got back from Liverpool. I was hoping to have a video out this morning, um, but I didn't edit it in time. So, and when I tried to edit it, it wouldn't match up and just wouldn't fit together. So, I'm a little bit later uploading a video today than what I have been. So, next time I see Midnight, she has my permission to slap me um, or give me a clip around me well I don't know um, I'll think of some punishment or something um, but anyway um, last night we went to see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them and it was epic it was amazing I'm not going to give any spoilers away because um, I just think it was such an epic, amazing film. I loved every minute of it. Um, it didn't actually feel like a Harry Potter film. Well, in a way, I don't think it's meant to feel like Harry Potter because uh, it's actually a different generation, like a different, an all new saga. But I, when The Hobbit came out, uh, the very start of The Hobbit was the ad Ian Hom, who played Bilbo in the Lord of the Rings film. They had him come back and they had Elijah Wood come back and it was like a little scene where it was kind of setting up the story for the Hobbit where they had Bilbo and Frodo back talking to each other and then in the very last film you have Frodo um, meeting up with Gandalf, well, going off to meet Gandalf, and all oh, it came full circle to the Hobbit, linking into the Lord of the Rings. Now, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them didn't actually do that. I mean, obviously, like Harry and the team never met with um, Scamander, but you know, I don't think it needed. Um, that introduction from Harry or Imani or Ron. What? Uh, sorry, this is when my autism really starts off. Um, but it didn't actually need that because um, the fact that it's an all new entity, an all new story, it just speaks for itself. And I think it works perfectly as a standalone film. And Eddie Redmayne was just. I've ever since I saw Eddie Redmayne in Les Mis, I've been a fan of his. I loved him in Les Mis, and then I've went, gone back and watched other things he's done. And I just think Eddie is one of those actors that he is like one of the next generation of big actors. Um, I mean, like you've got Eddie Redmayne, you've got um, Douglas Booth, and those are only two names I can think of that could take the acting industry forward. Um, I'm probably, but probably add some more. I'll get Daniel Radcliffe as well, and you know, but but just. He is just so talented and so marvellous in as Newt, and he kind of like plays him like very timid, very quiet, very shy. And, yeah, I, and that's what I loved about Newt is I was watching him. I'm going, oh my god, Newt is me. I am Newt, you know. And he was just so adorable. He was, he was, he was brilliant. Um, the girls, the two girls in it, it took me a while to warm to them. Um, and I don't know, I just couldn't. I, I don't know, I think they were just so. Um, best of the girl who you end up working with, I'm sorry, I'm terrible with names, but she was just so. I don't know, 
And at first she was very cold, very... Um, I know she's meant to be, but she was a bit too cold, if that makes sense. And... I don't know... She just... I just couldn't connect with her at first. But later on in the film, as the film went on, progressed. You kind of understood why she was so cold and why she was the way she was. Um, but I, I did end up liking her towards the end. And I did like her sister. Um, her sister was comical and I think it could have made her a little bit more funny. Like giving her a little bit more. I don't know, sorry about that. Yeah. Maybe a bit. Sneezing and coughing fit there. <laughs> but as I was saying, I think the girl who, the sister, the other sister, uh, we can't give it a little bit more of a comedy effect, a comedic role. Um, but she was she was um, a really sweet girl and um, she's just, she's very lunar love god-ish. I think that's the whole idea, the whole point. Um, of the way character was, was just meant to be quite Luna S, Luna like. But um, yeah, she I like liked her as well. I'm trying not to give away character names here, so so I, I don't want to this be a spoiler vlog. Um, but one thing I will say is Colin Farrell. Wow, oh wow! I heard people slate Colin Farrell and um, Eddie hadn't got good reviews for this film but I loved him. When it comes to Colin Farrell I didn't actually know what to make of him. Um, he's a very interesting character to say the least. Um, I'd heard uh, bad things about his character that he was just they didn't know why he was there they didn't understand his character they didn't understand they didn't like his acting and it they just but I actually think this is one of Colin's best performances for a long long time and his character is vitally important to the film I say, I'm being very careful not to give away spoilers here. The beast in it, my favourite one's a firebird. It was just so beautiful and it was just, I just can't put into words how beautiful it was. And also like, my other favourite one was the, um, this creature and I need to have a look what it was called. Um, it kind of looked like, um, a duck billed platypus, but it was just <laughs> kept like pinching coins and jewelry, and I love it. Oh, it was just such an amazing film, and I will definitely go and see it again. I want, I do want to go see it again. It was, I just can't put it into words. Anyway, um, I'm sorry for rambling on, <laughs> um, but, but I just had to do a quick blog talking about the film so anyway I will leave this here because my voice is slowly starting to go again <coughs> I don't know what's up with it what's going on um, but for now I will say love you lots and lots like jelly tarts and I'm keeping the wicked weird bye <laughs>